G'day everyone, I'm Smokescreen and welcome back to another video and here we go with the second slot of what yesterday's video was, the next round of the FIA Manufacturer Series for 2021. We're at Tsukuba Circuit in Group 3 and as you can see we've qualified 14th with the 52.5, pretty similar lap to what we did last video but I think the main thing to look at here is the fact that we're like 6 tenths off the lead and we're 14th again. But let's first enjoy the Manufacturer Series introduction and then we'll talk about the race. So yes, as you can imagine, on a track with a 52 second lap, uh, the qualifying is going to be really, really important to absolutely nail. Because if you lose a tenth, that might be six or seven positions right off the bat. Especially midfield, where you've got a load of players with very, very similar skill levels. If you make one tiny little error, you might be behind all those players that don't make that error. But if you saw last video, you will know that this combination has a really big problem. Uh, traffic major traffic issues because the it's one of the few tracks where loads of pit stops are actually viable to do you it's you can actually achieve some of the quickest race times by you know getting going for two stops going for three stops in your race even and the two and the three stop are actually very very similar i am choosing in this race to go for a two stop because my thought at the time was well if i if, every, if a load of people go for three stops and i go for for two stops i should be able to get some track position on some of the three stoppers and hopefully gain some positions that way. The downside of course is that I spend a long time on my hard tyres and I also spend a long time on my medium tyres. But at the start of this race, we actually, the space ahead opens up nicely because a load of players went in very, very early off their hard tyres, so they're going to be three stop in this race by going for only one or two laps on the hard tyre. So I've now got a load of clear air and that opens me up beautifully. To, to try and perform this two stop but as we get deeper into the race on our hard tyre we can see behind that we're actually holding up the pack quite a bit we've got at least two cars directly behind me and I'm pretty sure that train extends even further back so at the moment I've got Satu Sugarman and Corey Hack both behind me I'm assuming what's happened I know Corey pitted in at the end of lap three off the hard tyre so I think Corey's going for a three stop so he's definitely going to be on the mediums or even the softs at this stage I would probably suggest the mediums as we make a mistake running too wide on the entry to turn eight so Satu Sugarman has a look around the outside we managed to defend that position on the hard tyre and that's exactly what I needed to do because I'm going into the pits and look at that one two three four however many cars that was it was like four or five cars directly behind me so I've held up the progress of a load of cars there and honestly, as selfish as it sounds, that's kind of the point of trying to do a two-stop. I have to hold up three-stoppers as much as I can to try and minimise the time gain that they get off their extra stints on the softer tyres. So that's what I have to do. I've come out in 18th, and I've actually come out in relatively clean air. Uh, some people, uh, some more people went into the pit, so I'm currently in 16th at this stage, and I've got not uh, what Nuku Nuku Spirit are and Numu. We've raised Numu quite a bit. But I'm going to try and get the, past these cars as much as possible because they're a lot slower than me. I've caught up to them on the exit of my or, or, or on the sort of exit stages or on the laps after my pit stop. Oh my goodness! Can I get the words out? As there's an incident at turn five, I'm trying to go up the gap on the inside created by some contact between the Subaru and Numu, but I managed to only get the Subaru. So I guess at least that's one position made. But I'm now going to try and get past Numu as quick as possible because I can tell they're on a harder tyre or a much more worn out tyre. Flash of the hazards. I'm not quite sure what he wants me to do with the flash of the hazards. Maybe just thanking me for for allowing him to keep the position even though I didn't really on purpose but here we go we get an excellent launch 
out of the final turn, we're going to get some slipstream, we're going to dive down the inside at turn one, get that move done, we're on brand new medium tyres, we get this car stopped beautifully using that inside kerb to help rotate the car as we went into the corner, and we get that move done absolutely beautifully so once again I've got some extra clean air here and I'm pretty sure we have this clean air for quite a while but we'll see exactly if that does indeed happen or if somebody on the exit of the pits this time round does slot out ahead of me so there are some people in the pits high octane vitamin garado both into the pits on different compounds of tyres so there is a slight risk here of maybe one of them coming out ahead of me and someone's come out there, Vitamin Garando has come out and I'm not quite sure where the other car I uh, talked about has come out but Vitamin, yeah, Vitamin Garando has come out ahead of me but there is a, still a massive gap so I'm not getting held up at this point which is really good however some of these cars behind perhaps choosing to do the three stop may now be on an extra stint of soft tyres and I'm now extending my stint on the medium tyres a car goes up the inside so two sugar man goes up the inside at turn one he leaves me space to be fair to him and I'm now side by side running side by side through turns two and three with another car Corey Hack I believe at this stage around the outside I get a bump from behind halfway through the corner by high octane and it bumps me into Corey and then Corey gets sent off the track and high octane also keeps that position a little bit of a dodgy move there you don't you can't really bump and run people like that because not only did you bump and run me wide you bumped me into Corey sending Corey off the track making me look like a dirty driver and I've now got Shin getting the underlap here as I'm going to chase cam to give you a bit more of a cinematic view of what exactly has happened here I'm running side by side with Shin down the back straight towards the final turn however I've got the outside there's going to be no real way to get around the outside there so Shin has to take that position so all of that has kind of blown up sort of exploded from from the little bump I received from High Octane he's made his way through I mean even though high octane maybe on a softer tyre it's still no excuse to bump and run people because at the end of the day I'm allowed to be ahead on a slower tyre it's up to the car to get past cleanly just as the BMW does here maybe not the best amount of space left on the exit there but I think it is difficult on the exit to turn one because the exit in the corner is so tight as is the exit here as we're trying to get on the power and we use the full width of the track the BMW has driven away so this is one of the major major limitations of my two stop is that I have to extend my medium and hard tyre stints which means that I'm a very very slow circulating car at this stage in the race and a lot of these cars having go for three stop can spend only 12 laps on their medium and they do two 12 lap long stints on the soft tyre so I'm beginning to think at this point the three stop is actually the better strategy so uh, obviously given or you know Pending the result of this slot, I probably will go for a third slot as well. And I mean the fact that we're over halfway through the race and we're still, actually, is that about halfway? Yeah, that's definitely over halfway in the race at the moment. And we're still only in 14th, having qualified, was it 14th or 15th or something? It's really not a good, really not a good going race. Progress is very slow and we're, as we're getting overtaken again by Corey Hack, we're really beginning to see the limitation of the two stop. The medium tyres have hardly any grip and we're going to just skip ahead very quickly to the end of lap 23. I believe someone was in the pits. Is that the BMW of Yuski 13 is in the pits? Make sure no one comes out in front of me. And we're now going to be on lap 24. I believe this might be my in lap, in, in fact, because I felt as I was losing so much time on these very, very worn medium tyres. So I decided to pit one lap earlier than I did in the previous race and do 13 laps on my soft tyres instead of the 12 that we did last time. But it's still only a two-stop strategy. And as you can see, on the exit of the pits now as our pit crew release us, we are in... 17th and we get swept around the outside again by ridge wax uh, ridge backs one and it's going to be very difficult to try and keep this position i'm now on my soft tire so i know i'm the fast i'm one of the going to be one of the fastest cars on the track there and that's just shown in that braking zone as i'm braking where i thought i could on the soft tires but completely not taking into account the fact that Ridgebacks 1 may have been breaking a lot earlier if he's on a worn set of medium or hards. So I give him a bump, uh, but I back off and let him keep the position and we're going to go racing on the exit of this corner now. We've both ghosted out because the leader's coming through, but if you have a look at the time to the leader, it's 51 seconds on a 52 second lap time and Ridgebacks 1 indeed is actually going into the pits. So he probably had very, very worn and we'll see in a second. I think it was medium tyres uh, on the totem on the left hand side there has so Ridgebacks 1 has gone into the pits now so that's released us so it probably would have been more beneficial for Ridgebacks to just let me through on the exit of my pit stop and sort of make some time back using my slipstream but no he wanted to 
kind of fight for that position as we cross the line for our fastest lap of the race of a 52.7 I think it was at that particular stage. But we skipped to the closing stages almost on lap 33 now. We've caught up to the back of High Octane. Remember he bumped us wide and sent Corey off the track but made me look like the dirty driver. But again I'm not going to go for the revenge hit now. I'm just going to be going for or trying to get as clean a move as possible and on the exit of this corner here I'm going to use my soft tyres to my advantage and I've got the slipstream here of high octane and he whacks on the right indicator I didn't know are you going into the pits or are you telling me to go through but he drives past the entry so I send it up the inside of the final turn it's an awkward spot to put the right indicator on because you can put the right indicator on to tell other cars I'm going into the pit lane in which case I wouldn't want to pull out to the right and cause some overlap and cause a crash um, but it can also mean, you know, right indicator could be telling me to go right. So obviously, um, yeah, a little bit of miscommunication. But ultimately, I do make that position on high octane back up into 14th, which is where we ultimately cross the line. Nobody else ahead pitted at the end. So again, another very slow progressing race there. And it's kind of a similar story to my previous video. If you haven't watched that already, do check the link in the description to my previous video where you can watch yesterday's race. But again, it's still no point you know no points good enough or indicative enough of a decent result only 129 in that case but still limitations of a two stop i think we're going to have to try three stop next time out in third slot which will be the next video i release so do keep an eye out for that but i do hope you enjoyed this shorter video i, I wanted to experiment with a shorter video to see if like watch time or views are any higher because i seem to be struggling with that at the moment very slow growth on the channel so if you are watching and you aren't subscribed, I really would appreciate if you did give me a go because I'm sure you'll be very satisfied. If you like Super GT and the likes of Super GT and, and uh, Basic Ollie and Eerie is sort of drive uh, videos, then you'll probably like mine as well. So please give me a chance. But anyway, I don't want to make this video too long so people don't click on it. So I'm going to wrap this one up here. So do hit the like button if you enjoyed and do subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me. Do leave a comment as well. Questions, comments and constructive criticism as always. Very much appreciated. But that's going to be the end of this one today. And that means that is it from me. So once again, I do thank you very much for watching. See you later.